Welcome to the Residential Tenancies New Tenant Information Presentation. You should have the following documents in front of you. The General Tenancy Agreement, Form 18A, which is the tenancy contract. The Information Statement from the RTA. The Form 2 Bond Lodgement. The RTA Form 1A Entry Condition Report, plus any other associated documents provided to you from our agency. A handy tip is to make sure you've got pen and paper ready, just in case you have any questions or any points to raise at the end of the presentation. The General Tenancy Agreement Form 18A is a legal binding contract between yourself and the owner. We act on behalf of the owner. The following tenancy agreement is about to be explained to you. As previously stated, the General Tenancy Agreement is a legal binding contract between yourself and the owner. Item 1 of the contract, if you refer to, has the owner's name, care of our agency. Item 2 has your names. Please make sure we've spelt your name correctly and then we have the best phone number and email contact for you if applicable. Item 3 of the agreement sets out our agency details. Our address, phone, mobile and email. Always be sure to keep this contract in a safe place in the event you need to refer to it during the tenancy. Item 4 requests your consent for notices to be issued via email or facsimile. Before we proceed any further, let's discuss the meaning of notices as per the terms in the contract. Standard Term 44 of the contract sets out the meaning of notices and further explanation. Subsection 1 states a notice under this agreement must be written and if there is an approved form for the notice, it must be in the approved form. All communication and notices throughout this agreement must be in writing. We'll discuss further about maintenance matters shortly. In the event of an emergency maintenance situation, you are allowed to phone our agency. We'll discuss that more shortly. Please review Standard Term 44 in detail, along with, of course, all other terms of the agreement. We bring to your attention particularly Standard Term 44.8, which covers the issuing of notices. Particularly in relation to email, if you consent to the use of email, Standard Term 44.8D sets out when the notice is deemed to have been received by you. You will note that notices sent by email to you are deemed to have been received once it enters your server, not when you open the email. Please now provide your consent or not in relation to notices being sent to you during this tenancy contract via email. Please now refer to Item 5 of the Agreement. 5.1 sets out the address of the rental premises that you are taking possession of. Item 5.2 sets out the inclusions, which includes the RTA Form 1A Entry Condition Report and Inventory if applicable. Item 6 states the term of your agreement and 6.2 states the starting date of the contract plus the ending date of the agreement. Please note, if there's an ending date of the agreement, it doesn't mean the agreement ends on that date automatically. Notice timeframes and forms have to be issued by either party to end the agreement. The tenancy does not automatically end on the end date of the agreement. Please now move on to page 2 of the agreement. Item 7, 8, 9 and 10 set out information in relation to the rent payable, when it must be paid, how to pay your rent and where the place of rent payment. Item 11 sets out your rental bond amount. The rental bond amount payable will be lodged with the RTA. We'll explain that in more detail shortly. Please also now refer to item 12. The services supplied to the premises for which you as the tenant must pay. Further moving on to item 13 and 14 if applicable. Please refer to those terms to ensure to see if they apply. Item 15 sets out the number of persons allowed to reside at the premises. No other people can move into the property unless they are approved by the owner. Please refer to the terms of the agreement and or speak to your property manager for more information if required. Item 16 applies if there's body corporate bylaws in your property situation. If there are body corporate bylaws, 
you should have yes and yes ticked in items 6.1 and 16.2. Body corporate bylaws must be applied to at all times. Item 17 will set out whether pets have been approved at the property. Please note if pets have not been approved at the property, they cannot be kept there at any time. Now, item 18 of the agreement sets out nominated repairers of the property. We shall explain this in further detail now. Furthering on from item 18 of the agreement, please now refer to standard term 30 of the agreement, which sets out the meaning of emergency and routine repairs. Please now refer to page 6 of the agreement. Standard Term 30 sets out the legal definition of an emergency and routine repair under your tenancy agreement. Standard Term 30 subsection 1 sets out the emergency repair provisions. If any of these events occur during your tenancy, please be sure to ring, ring, ring our agency. In the event of the emergency being after hours, please be sure to refer to item 18 of the agreement as to contact details for nominated repairers. If your repair is not an emergency as set out by law, it falls into the category of Standard Term 30, Subsection 2, Routine Repairs. We remind you of the obligations under Standard Term 44.1 which requires that all notices and communication to be in writing. You can email us or you can f uh, fill out the repair maintenance form provided to you as part of this sign-up. For more information, be sure to talk to your property manager at the end of this presentation. The Form 18A is made up of 44 standard terms. These standard terms are the law and non-negotiable. Please be sure to review all of the terms before signing the agreement. If you have any questions, be sure to speak to your property manager at the end of this presentation. All the standard terms are important. For example, Standard Term 7 sets out that costs apply to early ending of a fixed term agreement. Once you've signed the agreement for a fixed term, you are locked into the agreement until the end of the tenancy or another legal matter applies. Be sure that you clearly understand these terms, especially Standard Term 7, prior to committing to the tenancy. In addition to the Standard Terms of the Agreement, there are Special Terms. Be sure to review all Standard and Special Terms prior to signing. Further recommendations from our agency is to review the information statement and be sure to keep it in a safe place during your tenancy to refer to if needed. Also, we recommend that you visit the RTA website if needed during your tenancy. Of course, if you have questions, you can always speak to our property manager as well. The Residential Tenancies and Rooming Accommodation Act of Queensland sets out the rights and responsibilities of both parties to the agreement. The parties, of course, are the lessor client and you as the tenant. We manage the property on behalf of the lessor landlord. What are your rights and responsibilities as a tenant when renting? You're required to pay your rent on time and in the way written in the agreement. You're required to abide by the terms of the agreement and any body corporate bylaws that apply. You must tell us if you damage the premises, accidentally or otherwise. And of course, you're required to follow the rules set out by the legislation. You're also required not to ever use your premises as an illegal purpose. Your premises must always mainly be used as your home unless otherwise agreed. You're required not to cause a nuisance or seriously affect the reasonable peace, comfort or privacy of your neighbours. You're further required to keep any inclusions clean, for example, the stove. You're also required to make sure that you and your guests do not deliberately damage the property and of course you are responsible for your behaviour and that of your guests. The RTA Form 1A Entry Condition Report is one of the most important documents in your tenancy. You will see that we have thoroughly prepared the report in detail. You by law have three days after moving into the property to notate any thoughts, changes, comments, plus sign it and return it to our agency. 
Failure to return within the legal three-day period will mean the document we provided to you will be used to determine your bond refund at the end of your tenancy. Please note, it is really important to our agency that we agree from the beginning of the tenancy. If you have any concerns, questions in relation to the report, please be sure to speak to your property manager immediately and within the three-day period to discuss any matters that you wish to bring to our attention. In relation to the entry condition report, the RTA recommend that you complete your part of the report before the day you move in so that you can record the true condition of the premises at the start of the tenancy before you've lived there. Again, a reminder, you have three days to return the report to our agency. Please refer to Standard Term 5 of the agreement if required for more information. When you pay your rental bond to our agency, we will provide you with a trust account receipt. We will then lodge your bond with the RTA, the Residential Tenancies Authority, within 10 days. In the coming weeks, you'll receive a receipt from the RTA as evidence that your bond is now lodged with the authority and held in trust. Please note that your contents are not covered by any landlord insurance policies. If you want protection for your belongings, please make sure that you take out your own contents insurance. What if you don't pay your rent on time and you get a notice to remedy breach RTA Form 11? Well firstly, please make sure you contact your property manager if ever you are starting to get behind in your rent or you fear that you may. But what happens if you do get behind? Once you are more than seven days behind in your rent, you have obviously breached your agreement. We can issue on behalf of the landlord client an RTA Form 11 Notice to Remedy Breach. You then have by law seven days to pay whatever is owing. If you pay your rent and fix the problem within the seven day allowed, your tenancy agreement continues. If you're having difficulty again, please contact your property manager to discuss the matter. If you don't pay your rent within the time allowed by law, we, on behalf of the landlord, can give you a Form 12 Notice to Leave to end the tenancy, which then gives you a minimum of seven days to leave for unremedied rent arrears. If a breach is given to you for another matter, such as unapproved occupants or unapproved pets, and the breach is not remedied, we could, on behalf of the owner, subject to their instructions, give you 14 days Notice to Leave for unremedied general breaches of your agreement or application can be made to the RTA's Dispute Resolution Service to assist us all in solving the problem. There are a number of reasons set out in law that entry can be made during your tenancy. For example, carrying out repairs or maintenance, or we regularly do routine inspections on behalf of the owner. These inspections occur every three to four months. Prior to entry, we will provide you with an RTA Entry Notice Form 9, setting out the reason of entry and also the correct time frame. For further information, refer to Standard Term 20 of the agreement. You'll always be notified in the event of general inspections. If you have any questions, again, make sure you speak to your property manager. Your property has working smoke alarms and a safety switch installed. Who is responsible for smoke alarms? The smoke alarms have just been cleaned and tested within 30 days prior to your tenancy starting now. We do ask, however, of course, please make sure smoke alarm batteries are never removed and make sure that the alarm stays in working order at all times. This is a legal requirement and, of course, a safety requirement as well. You will be breaching your agreement if an alarm was taken down and if a battery was removed. Please be sure for your safety and the safety of others that smoke alarms are always in working order. You are responsible during the tenancy for replacing any batteries that may become flat. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact your property manager or of course contact the RTA or the Queensland Fire and Rescue Service during your tenancy. We are soon coming to a close to this presentation. Before we do, please review this checklist starting a tenancy that is now on your screen. Your property manager will be joining you shortly.
Thank you for viewing the new tenancy information presentation. Your property manager is about to join you. Welcome to your new home. We are so pleased that you did find your new home through our agency and we look forward to a long and happy association with you. Thank you.